All right, so just like when we learned about the graphs of exponential functions uh, recently, uh, after we learned about how to identify the base of the graph of the exponential function, we then learned about the reflections, right? We learned how the exponential function can be reflected vertically, uh, which we call upside down. It can be reflected horizontally, which we call backwards, or it could be reflected vertically and horizontally, and we call that upside down and backwards. Well, if you want to, uh, why don't you look at the, what I put here. I did the exact same thing. Here's the normal graph. Here's upside down. Here's backwards, and here's upside down and backwards. And we'll see if you might be able to figure this out on your own, even though I'm still going to explain it to you. Okay? But just look, for, look at it for a second. Okay? Um, and what I'm going to show you in a few minutes is where to put the negatives. And what we learned when we did exponential functions is that the upside down exponential, we put a negative on the front of the function. Same thing here. When we learned about backwards, we put the, the negative on the x inside of parentheses. Same thing here. And then when we did upside down and backwards, we put two negatives on, one on the front and one on the x. Same exact thing here. Everything that you learned from exponential functions can be transferred over to uh, the graphs of logarithmic functions. The only real difference is this is, uh, is instead of everything being um, upside down or backwards relative to the x-axis, it's now going to be upside down and backwards uh, relative to the y-axis. Well, to, to be Actually, to be more specific, your upside down is going to be relative to the x-axis uh, and your backwards is going to be relative to the y-axis. Okay? But really, it depends on, on the asymptote. Okay? All right, so let's look at this. This is a normal logarithmic function. Okay? Now, uh, something interesting that you can do if you want to try and understand uh, logarithmic functions as their relationship to exponential functions, I'm going to grab a piece of paper, but I'm going to keep on talking so that you know that I am still with you. And I'm going to grab a marker. So if you were to grab a marker and a piece of paper, then you could uh, understand, have a better understanding of exponential functions and logarithmic functions. So let's say I have this piece of paper. And on this piece of paper, I'm going to put a coordinate plane. All right, so take this piece of paper. I'm going to draw a y-axis and an x-axis, right? You see that? And now, on this piece of paper, now you got to use a marker. Now, I, I want to put a background here because I don't want it to bleed through. So on here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an exponential function. So I'm going to put a point right here, right? And I'm going to draw a graph that has a horizontal asymptote, and it's going to go through the point, and then it's going to go vertical, right? There we go. It's a nice exponential function there, right? And sure enough, it bled through, especially where I put the point. All right, so look. Let me show you this. This is, let's say, 2 to the x power, or e to the x, right? And um, because logarithms are inverses of exponential functions, if we were to turn this around, so we were looking at it from the back, it would look like this, and then rotate it 90 degrees sideways, this is now what it would look like. And here's what I want you to see. I want you to notice that when we flip it around and turn it 90 degrees, that same exact graph now looks like a logarithm graph. Okay? And there's the point. Instead of being at 0, 1, it's at 1, 0. And so uh, the same thing is with the asymptote. So, you know, we had, if we go back to the original function here and we draw in, the horizontal asymptote at the x-axis, right? Well, if we take the same piece of paper and uh, flip it around and turn it sideways, now we see a vertical asymptote. And there's our vertical asymptote, and there's our logarithm going through the point. And so what you're looking at here is exponential functions that are flipped around and turned 90 degrees sideways. Okay, But here's the thing. When we learned about upside down, Upside down with exponential functions meant, meant flipping over the asymptote. But look, when we flip over the asymptote, it's not upside down, it's backwards. And that's because the logarithm is the inverse of the exponential function. 
all of the x's turn into y's. So the, the horizontal asymptote on the x-axis is now a vertical asymptote on the y-axis. And when we flip from one side of the asymptote to the other side, instead of flipping vertically, we're flipping horizontally. It's a horizontal reflection, and therefore it becomes backwards. Okay? All right, so look. The original function starts out vertical down, vertical down, and then it comes up and flattens out to the right. Okay? So if it's not vertical down and flattens to the right, it is not normal. But if it is vertical downward and flattens to the right, we'll put some arrowheads on here. So vertical downward, there's a down arrow, along the asymptote, right? And then it sort of flattens out, but it's not going to get perfectly flat. It's going to go to infinity and continue increasing. But it's flattening out to the right. Okay, It's getting flatter to the right. Well, what does an upside down look like? Upside down still gets flatter to the right. Okay, But the big difference with upside down is that instead of going vertical down, it goes vertical up. And so if we're going to put vertical up, okay? Whereas normal is vertical down, it's upside down if it's vertical up. And when that happens, here's how it's going to change the function. It's going to become f of x is equal to negative log base 2 of x. Now the base could be something different, but in this example we're doing log base 2, okay? So upside down goes vertical up, but it's still flat to the right, okay? And all we're going to do is put a negative on the logarithm. All right, what about backwards? Well, backwards is just like the normal in that, it's, in that it goes vertical in the down direction. But instead of, instead of flattening out to the right, it flattens out to the left. Okay? It goes, it, after you know, the vertical part is, is uh, going down, but the upper portion or the other portion is flattening out to the left instead of flattening out to the right. So flat, flat, flatter to the, and it's going flatter to the left instead of flatter to the right. So the normal goes flatter to the right, backwards goes flatter to the left. So if your graph is going flatter to the left, then it is backwards, and the way we would write it is f of x is equal to log base 2 of negative x. And so you may ask yourself, well, I thought, uh, I thought we're not supposed to have uh, the logarithm on the left side. I thought you cannot put a negative in. Well, here you can put a negative in, because like over here, if you were to put in negative 5, so you say negative 5 is maybe right about here, okay? If you put a negative 5 in here, you have negative negative 5, which becomes positive 5, and therefore it works out. But we cannot put positive numbers in. If we were to put in positive 7, we would have log base 2 of negative 7, and we can't do a logarithm of a negative number, right? So if the graph becomes flatter to the left, that means that it's backwards. Uh, and you're going to put a negative on the x. Okay? So upside down means vertical up, and you put a negative on the front. Flatter to the left instead of the right means it's backwards, so we put a negative on the x. And then now we have this situation here where it goes vertical up and it goes flatter to the left at the same time. It has both qualities of upside down and backwards, and that's why this one is upside down and backwards. And when you see a logarithm graph that is uh, flatter to the left, it's on the left side of the asymptote, and it's pointing ver vertically up instead of vertically down, that means that this is both upside down and backwards. And if it's upside down and backwards, it's going to be f of x equals, we're going to put the negative on the front for upside down, negative log base 2 of, and we're going to put a negative on the x, negative x, because it is backwards. Okay? So that's the basics of uh, reflections and what these graphs look like when they are reflected vertically, reflected horizontally, reflected vertically and horizontally. Now, this is only going to help you. It's only going to make sense if you know what the basic shape, the normal shape, looks like. Okay? We're going to remember these in the next segment when I'm going to give you a bunch of uh, uh, graphs, and you're going to identify the base and where to put the negatives on the logarithm 
uh, functions.